Well, another good Friday evening, Perham and Pequot Lakes look to be in the thick of things when it's all said and done in Section 38A or Section 83A. Yellow Jackets 2 and 0, Patriots 1 and 1. Get ready for a battle tonight with two offenses that can score in a hurry. Let's head to Pequot Lakes for a big section battle between these two teams. In first quarter, Patriots getting on the board first. This pass from senior Blake Lane, the classmate Austin Young for the easy six. Pequot up 7-0. Perham, though, didn't take long to respond. Jensen Beachy finds Ty Moser wide open across the middle. He'll find the end zone. A failed two-point conversion, though, means the Yellow Jackets trail by one. Then we go to the second. It's Pequot again extending its lead. 40-yard run by Nathan Trott, and the Patriots are up seven after a missed two-point conversion. Yellow Jackets find momentum, though, with Beachy putting the team on his back. This run in the end zone, they trail by two, but Pequot would respond again. Next possession, second play, and Lane finds Trout on the screen pass, and he does the rest. 73 yards to the house for the score. Our last updated score on this one, Pequot leads 19-18 to in the fourth quarter. Nine-man football, Kelleher North home hosting Floodwood. Opening drive for the Mustangs, Trace Grunmeyer fools everyone and breaks free on the sideline. Gets down to the two-yard line. That would set this up a couple plays later, and it's Grunmeyer fooling everyone again. Even the cameraman, me, for the first touchdown of the game. Then Kelleher North home gets it done defensively, and look at the play by safety and new Steuben. The track star also getting it done, knocking down passes. This one's last updated score, 8-0 Kelleher was winning in the second quarter. Clearbrook Godvick at home tonight hosting fourth-ranked Stephen Argyle. The game was delayed an hour due to weather conditions. Stephen Argyle quarterback Hunter Yatsarenka rushes for a dirt first down during the Storm's opening drive. Then Clearbrook Godvick steps up defensively. Jami Hammes makes a critical tackle on the ball carrier. Then more from the Bears. Reese Danielson and Richard Hale get the backfield for the loss. This one was scoreless. Our last updated score is 0-0 in the first quarter. To Proctor we go. Grand Rapids paying them a visit. Thunderhawks looking for their second win. First half, Rails put it on the ground. Zach's rap, rapid Zach Engen is there to stop the run in the backfield. Then later in the first half, nice boot by Proctor's Cody Hampton. Gets a nice bounce that pins the Thunderhawks on their one-yard line. Then a few plays later, a swarm of rail defenders tackles the Thunderhawks. Ball carrier in the end zone. Chalk it up as a safety in the first points of the game. And look at this final 9-0 Proctor tops Grand Rapids. Also in the Duluth area, Esco and Greenway, Nashua, Kiwan battling it out scoreless until the late first quarter. Greenway in the red zone. Matt Jeska gets in on the fullback dive for six. Two-point try fails. Titans lead 6-0. Esco, though, would tie it up on a botch punt, and the extra point would be critical. Cameron Osterling splits the uprights to take the lead, and that would end up being the final 7-6. Esco beats Greenway. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.